What is the unequivocally worst way the Dark Eldar can torture someone? Surely with all that pain experimentation they've done, they've discovered one method that's just better than the rest. The face when no girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the torture is a way to cultivate a soul for better consumption. So it's going to be unique to the soul. That's why torture is more of an experimental art form than a science. I doubt it. One book had them set up some human prisoners to make a daring escape from their prison, only to find out it was all a ruse, and their despair when their hearts sank was noted as its own delicious flavour. Space marines are also special prisoners, and are more satisfying than normal humans. So we can infer that the Dark Elder like to have a variety and different subjects produce different results. Yeah, one of my favourite ones about Space Marines was the one with Lilith Hespogax and she ends up fighting like a, I think it was Imperial Fist captain for something like years. Fuck. Just, it was like a big arena fight, yeah. but it just went on for two years solid. Fuck it sake. was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that one, but I'm also a bit of a, I'm a Dark Elder fag, so yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, so, what, sitting in a I'm room, sitting so in a room surrounded, surrounded by, by Dark, Dark Elder. Elder mortals. Okay, like, I may have a, surrounded <laughs> by them. <laughs> I may have a soft spot, okay? I've been told that flaying someone is the most painful thing you can do to a person. In the 40k universe, they could probably put their victims into a virtual reality machine that's indistinguishable from reality and nah, mess with them that way. I don't think that would be the same though, Dark Elder. I don't Maybe give them fake memories or something would too. The, would the psychological be just as much as the physical? Psychological pain and torture can be sometimes worse than yeah. physical torture because physical torture you actually have physical pain where psychological you can't. The problem like is you, you don't see physical pain. <laughs> Dick ants <laughs> that crawl into your, your urethra and lay eggs in your bladder. <laughs> No! I don't even have a dick and I feel that pain. <laughs> no, that's horrible. I don't know if it's the worst, but I read it in the Dark Eldar book once. They would take you, turn your body into decorations, then hang you up. Impaled on chains, of course, and leave you hanging like a fleshy chandelier for all time. They will make sure you won't die, and are very careful with the whole turning you into a meat decoration, so you will always feel pain just as sharply as ever. I think Vect had these people literally just hanging from the ceilings inside his palace, and other Dark Eldars would just walk past them, basking in the sound of it. I think it was the third path of Dark Eldar book, but I don't really remember any more than that. Check out the book, it's worth checking out, it's actually good. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to pick up the book, you can go down to the description below because Neckbeardia has an Amazon affiliate link. So if, yay, so if you go click that link, it'll help us out a lot and you can get some pretty cool stuff on Amazon. And I'm pretty sure everybody uses Amazon at this yeah. point anyway. But so I'll put the link down just Links the down book. below um, we'll work for there. the book and we'll work from there for the actual link. There was a Dark Eldar book series that had some cool stuff. Like they'd link the central nervous system to three people together so they could torture them all at once. Jesus tell me, fuck! Tell me that wasn't inspired from the human centipede. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. definitely yeah. was. Yeah. When torturing one, the other would feel the pain and phantom limbs. I can't oh, feel my legs. I can't feel my limbs. So it wasn't just painful, but also alien. Then, of course, there was the bit about torturing humans. They said conscripts were no fun because they broke so easily. But veteran units actually thought they had a chance. So they keep them all in a cell. Let them stage miraculous escapes, even giving roles to other players in the game. Like the sympathetic helper that steals them in keys. And the dopey guard who was some cabalite drugged up to his eyeballs. The poor fucks would build up hope as they went through the stages of their victory. They'd lose people along the way. The assistant was always good for that. Either have them die or betray them or be betrayed, etc. Then when the veterans finally made it to the escape, ship, portal, car, etc. The door would open into an entire arena, packed to the rafters with Drakari, pointing and laughing at them, <laughs> and they'd suddenly realise it was all pointless. That's when they'd break. You can't break a person who's already given up. You need to give them hope so that when you suddenly take that hope away, the crash is that much sweeter. Holy oh. fuck! Oh, so that, it's like that. That's why I love Dark Elder. That's brutal. They, they're so over the top. They always, they're so, that's the problem with like 
Elder in general in 40k, they're very theatrical. Yeah. But when it comes to Dark Elder, the theatrics I quite enjoy. Yeah. Because it's like almost it's like me. Why you be? It's it's like the ultimate edge word. Yeah. But it's actually okay to be the edge word yeah. because it makes it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tickling. That would be my nightmare. That would be my oh, absolute that would nightmare. Be horrible. <gasps> Deny them new experiences. Make them ugly. Minus coven units. Since they're all sadist power tops, send them to Slanesh to be a power bottom bitch for eternity. No! <laughs> Path of the Dark Elder Book 1. Path of the Renegade. Cabals. Just about the same as we can think of. A favourite seems to be elevating some slaves to a higher status. And then many years later, sometimes even generations later, human generations, the Cabal turns on them out of the blue. This seems to mindfuck them so good they snap, with their sanity completely gone. Witch cults. Was already posted, but to add to it, they have the homunculi bring them back from the dead, and do it again, and again, and again, till they are willing to become turncoat, and repeat the process with others. Mandrakes. Don't seem to do much outside of maybe joining the homunculus coven to scare you to death. Otherwise, they just sneak up on people and defile them. It's mentioned in the pre-path of the Dark Eldar book, The Street of Knives, that the Rack thought the Mandrake was going to make sport of him right there on the spot, as the Mandrake lay on top of him. So we can assume they like the tentacle hentai stuff, not just murder. <laughs> Covens. Ha 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 ha! Some homunculi have captured demons and tortured them. And no, I'm not just talking about the fun story in the homunculus coven supplement. A low-ranking homunculi in the Coven of the Black Descent has a fetish for metal. Sounds harmless, right? Well, he knows how to make metal cry. That's right. He can make metal beg for mercy. And his children. Two pain engines are metal-crafted and not flesh-crafted. Before I read this, please forgive my pronunciation on some of these words. I'm not the best at 3K words, okay? You're fucking shit at 3K. Shit. Right. Pitch Dark. Year 198, Millennium 39, a piratical warband of traitor space marines from a Night Lord Legion ambushes a Drakari fleet and breaches the hull of its flagship. Several homunculi from the altered are sent spinning out into the cold void of space, though their desiccated corpses are eventually recovered by specially made engines of pain. The homunculi are once more regrown, but the insult done to them is not forgotten. Before the solar year is out, the Night Lord's warband, whilst plunging the Imperial planet of Wistingrad, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, right, that, that's what you get. <laughs> into a violence haunted twilight, encounter the Drakari once more. The Night Lords have robbed the planet of power using high yield static bombs, ensuring that its cities are gloom shrouded playgrounds for their terror tactics. Though the horrors wrecked by the traitor legionaries are mild in comparison to what is to befall the next planet, the Altered, having enlisted the aid of several thousand Alandraki Eldars and deployed an ancient anti-photon engine from their deepest obelets. Oh, that took me so long. <laughs> shroud the world of Weisengrat in an unnatural darkness. War unfolds as Mandrakes and Raks engage in a deadly running battle with Night Lords. The dearth of light is so supernaturally intense that even the acute vision of the Chaos Space Marines is rendered all but useless. The Traitor Marines' doctrine of psychological warfare is slowly and painfully turned against them, and the spark of paranoia that nestles in each Night Lord's breast is fanned into an inferno. Mandrake attacks come from impossible quarters, as new scenes of stomach-churning vileness are uncovered with every hour. The Night Lords seek out the Drakari anti-photon engine with the intent to destroy it and wage the war anew on their own terms. The ancient machine is finally blown apart by melted charges, but when visibility is restored to Weisengrat, the homunculi are gone. Only a lingering fear of darkness is left in their wake. Well, Fabius Bile once managed to impress them to where he and the Dark Eldar traded hints, tips and tricks on torture. They didn't let him leave until they did something to him that prevented him from ever sharing their secrets with anyone else, however. It's both. He was allowed to go on his way, as the homunculi seemed to have seen him in the war. We may have seen a trained monkey. But then he went to teach what he learnt. 
So those who taught him, the Coven of the Thirteen Scars activated their fortress, which was a tower of living flesh. They then went to destroy Chaos Titans with their flesh cathedral, before capturing Fabius Bile. They did something to him, so he could never teach again what he had been taught. They then killed all of those Emperor's children who he taught, in an orgasmically painful way. Then they left. Later lore, more in favour of Fabius Bile, said he is the reason their tower could live longer than like 12 seconds, as he used chaos ruins and warp magic to bind its uncountable number of souls into it. Torture is an art, and every victim is different, with their own unique psychology and experiences that must be comprehended on a case-by-case basis. It's like asking, what's the best way to perform therapy on someone? Each victim's personal hell will look and feel different. Learning and carrying out the best method for each victim requires care and creativity. Well, I see you definitely have found the dark fucking, out more Yeah, sounds the fucking Jeffrey Dahmer as well. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Me? A big titty, dark elf, bounces on your cock until you're about to come. And when you're about to, she injects you with something that stops it. She does that until she gets bored and puts you in a jack-off machine which does the same. You endure this for years. Sounds fucking incredible. <laughs> Over the years I've edged so much when jerking off it feels better to me than coming at this point. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Penis flattening day. Oh god. Guardsman kneeled to his ceiling while his torso is opened up and organs kneeled to the ceiling after being pulled out of him, still attached and is kept alive in that state of perma-agony. Vect skins some prick, infused his soul into the skin, and rapes the guy's daughter in front of it so he can watch. I feel like even my most sick and depraved fetishes would seem as dull and uninspired, but since homunculi strike me as being incredibly snobbish art critic types at times, maybe they'll think I'm just being some weird form of post, 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 modernistic <laughs> irony or something. I can really see that, be honest with you. I, I could imagine that being... Yeah. Thing. Hand-holding in missionary position. <laughs> Hey guys, so I really hope you liked that video and don't forget down in the description we have an Amazon link which we are an affiliate of now um, and the link will take you straight to the Dark Eldar, the one of the Dark Eldar books if you want to learn more on Dark Eldars of this, 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 this. <laughs> Look, check the link out down below. <laughs> I can't it's, speak. It, 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 look, it's a really good book. I got it a few years back and I absolutely love it. Really enjoy it. Would highly recommend to anyone who's actually interested in Dark Eldar at all um, because of course you guys know with this being quite a leap and torture sort of uh, video, no chance of monetization on that, and it helps us out a lot. Yeah. Also, I want to know what you guys think is the worst form of torture down below, because like you know, I know what you guys are like. You guys all all give go me your on. depravity down yeah, in the give, comments. Yeah, you guys are like oh, kill the fire, kill the fire, all this, and then the second we do that goblin video, it's like short stacks, <laughs> short stack. <laughs> you know. So like, let us know down below. Give us a good laugh anyway. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!